All right. If anyone is out there, my computer crashed. <laughs> Uh, really quickly, let me get everything back up and running. While we, uh... While we wait for people to filter back in. Let's get our music running again. Um, uh, I think I have too much stuff going on, unfortunately. Like, running on my computer. Do do do. Just a just a small crash. <laughs> Luckily, I have an SSD, so my computer boots up back incredibly quickly. But for some reason, it still crashed, which isn't good. All right. There's our music. I got my headphones back on. We need to get uh, Kerbal booted back up here. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it didn't crash crash. It uh, Everything froze and it started uh, making a weird noise, but like, I don't know if your when your computer crashes, your speakers just go or something like that. And that's what was happening. It might have been a blue screen or something. I don't know. I turned it off very quickly. Right, what am I doing? I need to get uh, Kerbal. Kerbal going again. Yeah, RAM or CPU. Who knows? Men oh, I mentioned this last stream. I bought this from... I buy power and I don't know if I can recommend them after all the issues I've had with this computer it was very expensive I think I paid like well I mean I guess it's not that expensive in computer terms so I think I spent like 1200 bucks on this thing really quickly I'm also going to uninstall some mods like parallax that way we're not, uh, um, using extra power that we don't need to use. We're back. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm just uninstalling some mods real quick, just so my computer doesn't try to die again, like it did. I think it was a blue screen, but I don't know, I didn't wait long enough to find out. Unfortunately, it's not going to be as beautiful uh, without parallax or scatterer or anything like that, but uh, hopefully it won't die. Got to keep my computer alive. We just got to make it through like eight more crafts. We got eight more rovers to check out, I believe. I think we've done like three or four. Quickly, uh, getting these mods on a and also putting my thumbnail back on this. On this video. There we go. Am I going to play change soon? I don't know. I look, I, I need to look into it because I, you've recommended it to me a bunch. So I, I should check it out. The only issue I have is I'm more of a sandbox game guy. 
and if it's a story based game i get i get bored very quickly <laughs> with story based games i like to make my own fun all right launching kerbal space program again we will be back in kerbal in a moment <clears throat> sorry for uh clearing my throat and coughing I didn't, I didn't mention this when I started, but I am still getting over some sort of cold, some sort of bug. Don't know what it is. Feeling much better, but still have the lingering cough and uh, scratchy throat. Last time I streamed, I did Railroads Online. Uh, my throat hurt so bad by the end of it, just from all the talking, because uh, I don't talk this much uh, in my daily routine. I work, my department at work is three people, and none of us work at the same time. <laughs> like, it's when I'm coming in, the other one is leaving, sort of thing. So I'm just back there, driving forklifts, not talking to anybody. Just listening to podcasts, driving around. It's a good time. Highly recommend it. If you ever get a job in shipping and receiving... I guess I do talk to truck drivers when they come in, but uh, not very much. Usually about the weather. Oh, it's snowing out today. Yep, snowing, dude. Yep. <laughs> That's my kind of small talk. Yep, yep, yeah, cool, dude. Yeah, cool. Yeah, snow, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's switch back over to Kerbal as it's loading here. Snow, yeah, indeed, snow. Which somehow, uh, if you don't know, I live in Michigan. We had pretty much the whole country had a huge snowstorm. And then suddenly it's spring again. It started to snow a little bit again today, but it's been like super nice out like all week. Which is good because my car, uh, the starter went out on my car. And I got stranded at the gas station. <laughs> uh and luckily, it was super nice out, so it was we could fix it when it wasn't freezing cold and snowy. Yeah, F, F in chat for my car. I, it's really sucked. I It was like my last day working first shift, so I had to be to work at 5 a.m. And at about 4.50, I stopped at the gas station to get some coffee. And then my went walk back out, and my car wouldn't turn back on. Luckily, uh, someone else that I work with was also at the gas station, so I was like, "Hey, <laughs> please take me to work. I don't want to be late." It's weird with the snow. At least we had a white Christmas. That's true. It, it was snowy for Christmas. It was almost like Christmas was like, "Hey, at least snow. At least snow today, so it feels like Christmas." All right, pop back into the space plane hangar. We were driving centered orcs last, right? The vroom vroom. So this was the one we just finished driving around. If you didn't get to see it before we crashed. Centered orc has safety features where the kerbals sit on the sides, which I think is genius. I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow that idea if that's fine with Centered Orc for uh, another rover in the future. That way, I, I need to make a craft that is in, increshable. I tried to make a giant wheel one time. Like the whole rover was just one big wheel. So that way it could not crash, but I couldn't get it to work. We'll have to try that out sometime, maybe for a video. Alright, next one up is the anti anti gravity car by Charlie. I don't know what his screen name is. I just know in the email his name was Charlie. So if, if this is yours, say hello. <laughs> this looks like uh, something I would make. Like I'm driving and I can't stay to the ground. What do I do? Throw some rockets on top. It's very, it's very Sid Spooky move, if I can say that. Alright, let's launch this bad boy. 
Thank you, Charlie, for your submission. This one doesn't have the exterior seat, so it's a little safer. So, uh, I mean, I'm not giving out points, but hypothetically bonus points to you. Let's turn some lights on. And get... Oh, well, let's test it here on Kerbin first. Oh, that's right. We're going to test centered orcs on Kerbin also. Just for the, the giggles. So, I mean, this thing drives really well. To be expected with these wheels. These are the wheels I usually use on most... Actually, no, these aren't the ones I use. I use those... Heavy-duty ones these days. These are the ones I play... Or I use when I'm not doing missions across... Planets. Very easily maneuverable. I'm just gonna press buttons wildly to see if anything happens. No? Okay. Nothing's happening. Alright, let's hit the brakes. And get our butts to Elu. Elu, set position. Uh, if you're coming in late after the crash, I uninstalled a bunch of mods, so it's not going to look as pretty, but hopefully we won't crash again. I don't think my computer can handle uh, streaming and verbal and music and all the other things I got running in the background to keep the stream running. I also just realized our song isn't changing on the stream. Let me fix that. There we go. Boom. Okay, cool. So Charlie's craft. What is this? Does the nose always look like that? Does it always have that red circle on it? I don't remember that at all. Am I just dumb? Do I... Am I forgetting that? I don't, anyway... Back to the task at hand. So even with the RCS on, it doesn't drive horribly. Or not the RCS, the SAS. A little slow, but pretty maneuverable. And then if I press, I forgot that I have a button on my keyboard to drive without an uh, SES, so let's use that. Is this the top speed? This is the this is the top speed without the engines on. All right. <laughs> so this is as fast we're going, 2.6 meters a second. Uh, what happens when we? turn the rockets on Does that just keep us to the ground yeah that's just gonna keep us to the ground <laughs> imagine no engines or well I mean we are right now without the uh, without the ones on top this is this is top speed right here the good news is we will not like launch off into space I guess we don't have any risk of crashing, <laughs> any risk of uh, flying off and disintegrating our ship. Because we physically cannot go fast enough to do that. I do like... Let me turn these engines off so it's not as loud. I do like the uh, the flippers. Uh, I'm pretty sure that those were inspired by our voyage across Kerbin. So... Imaginary bonus points to you, Charlie, for the flippers. I don't know if they're needed for the speed of this craft, but uh, they're there if, if they do, if they are needed. All right, so there is Charlie's. Let's go back to, actually, let's just revert to the hangar. Next up, hopefully I'm saying this right, is Gazooka's. I remember his being in the list next. The B.A. Sid. Uh, it's missing some parts, but that is fine because I don't know if they're needed. Does this look right? We're not missing any parts. It looks good. It says it's missing parts, but it loads, so I assume that's fine. Uh, the Busby Aerospace Sid is a meticulously designed rover that I spent five minutes on. Bring an engineer and use quick saves. Also, RKs are in the cargo module between the front wheels. 
Run wheels. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a lot of them. He knows me well. Oh, these little grip pads. I don't know if I've ever used those before. Got plenty of repair kits. I really like how this looks, to be honest with you. I like how the headlights are inset like that. Is there any buttons that I need to be aware of? Any... Actually, I guess I could just check this, can I? Uh... Da, 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 da. Mobility enhancer. Okay, that's the ladders. The one does ladders. Alright, one does ladders. I think that's all we need to know. Abort has the reaction wheels. I do remember reading that in your email, I believe. Alright, let's launch this bad boy. Abort to activate reaction wheels. Perfect. Let me pull up Gazooka's email. That way I'm not missing anything. I know you're in the chat, but... Uh... So in the email it says, tips, bring an engineer, which we just read. Do not turn at high speeds. Uh, repair kits are in storage. One toggles the ladders. Perfect. All right, for our first test, let's get a daylight. And then let's cruise around. Oh, I don't have people. I thought I could have sworn I put astronauts in. This maneuvers really well, though. On, on uh, Kerbin. It's got quite a bit of fuel, which is nice. That's one problem we always run into with our missions, is we can never have enough fuel, but it's such a long drive that uh, you always need fuel. Oh, that's cool. The sides flip down. I like that. Very cool. Honestly. <laughs> The hinges are so, like, such a simple thing, but the, you can make such cool things and make things look so nice with them. Hinges, I think, are my favorite part in Kerbal. <laughs> if I could have a favorite part in Kerbal, it's the hinges. This thing looks like... I don't know, it looks mean. It looks like... I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. So let's go back to Space Hangar, get some astronauts in this bad boy. Let's not forget an engineer because I've read that multiple times now. All right, Wilzor, Breadster. Oh, there's three seats and Nebo. The good news is without all those mods installed, our loading screens won't take as long in theory. Actually use it in a KSP somatic. Very cool. Um, do you have a channel that we can see that on? By any chance? Uh, I forgot what I was doing. We need to go to Elu. The whole point. Yeah, I like this design too. It's very cool. Very creative. All right, if you guys want to see this in a cool uh, cinematic, check out uh, Gazooka's channel. Am I saying your name right? I want to make sure. I, I like this. This thing's cool. All right, SAS. So abort toggles reaction wheels. I'm going to keep my mouse on that because I don't know what the button for abort is. Is it backspace? Pretty sure it's backspace, actually. Alright. So far, so good. Very maneuverable. Oh, oh, we're flipping. Oh, but... But it's designed... Well. And things are not falling off. I don't know if I have... Oh, I'm clicking the brakes. What am I doing? <laughs> there we go. Abort is backspace. Good to know. Look at that. Our first rover to crash, but then still come out scooting. And it and it's pretty quick. I wonder how, just how much abuse this can take. If you tumble under 20 meters a seconds, you should be fine. That's pretty good. 
I'm gonna have to put that to the test. Oh, I, ooh, I'm not do, I'm not crashing on purpose. This was a real crash. I promise this was not on purpose. Good news is we, we recovered, we recovered. So it has good, it definitely has good maneuverability. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty quick. I mean, even without the engines, we're, we're going over 20 meters a second. And then the rear end is it vulnerable. Yeah, I, I could see that just because it uh, sticks up a little bit. But you know what? The most of it would still survive, though, which... Whoa, we hit a rock. Oh, true. Be fine. Oh, can we recover it again? Oh, no. Come on. Uh, uh. Okay, we're good. Let's hit the brakes. We're going to give it a good old speed test. All right, here we go. Let's get, let's get lined up here and we'll hit the engines. So you know when I do my when I do my journeys across the lands, I like to go as fast as I physically can, or not as fast as I physically can, but as fast as I safely can. Well, safely. Mm, I don't know if safely is the right term either. As fast as I feel comfortable going, slightly faster than I feel comfortable going. That's that's how fast I like to go. We're going like almost 80 meters a second, and this is doing just fine. It controls really well with the reaction wheels on. Ooh. I would never go this fast, um, like for a mission. So the fact that it can go this fast and... It recovers pretty well. Oh, we broke a wheel, though. That's my fault. But you you brought a bunch of repair kits, so... Oh, we still have the engines going. Oops, wrong button. There we go. 100 meters a second. But you know what? Even with broken wheels... <laughs> we're cruising. Look at us go. This was def definitely the the most well suited for Yulu. Whoa! Oh gosh, we lost some parts, but that is not the design's fault. That's my fault for going a hundred meters a second. <laughs> very very cool. All right, let's. Uh, I don't know if I can stop this thing. Oh, these poor guys are just floating around in there. I think someone died. No, I think they're okay. They're in there. They're, uh... He's not doing so hot, but they're in there. Um, imaginary... Oh, there's a computer in there? That's what it looks like, anyway. The third seat is clipped into the floor. Okay, so someone probably did die. And it was the person clipped into the floor. <laughs> but you know what? We just crashed 100 meters a second. Um... And the only thing that really happened was our tires are broken. Oop. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, the tires are broken, and we probably lost a couple parts on the bottom. But you know what? Our repair kit's still there. Repair kits are still there. We can repair the wheels and keep scooting. And it's got a little laptop in there, which I super appreciate. It's there so you can transfer Kerbal to there to exit properly instead of going through the front. Okay. That makes sense. Get back to that guy. Eh, I'm sure he's fine. He's over there. He's chilling. Is that him or is that a rock I'm looking at? This poor guy. Having a heck of a time. Can I just can I get him in there? I can't because he's not standing still. This poor guy's having like having a moment in here. Alright, let's just let's just look away. Problem, did we just lose the engineer? Oh no. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. Um, and I can't tab to oh there he is. Wilzer. Oh, he's also a pilot. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, physics warp might might fix it. Oh, there he goes. He's fine. Or she she's fine. She's fine. We did lose the engineer. 
yeah, the engineer is dead. <laughs> so, uh, we can't really fix the wheels, but that's fine. We don't, we don't need to fix the wheels. Um, Gazuka, I super like this. Thank you for your submission. Uh, bonus points. For one, the doors, super cool. Big fan. Two, it's hard to crash. And when you do crash, you don't lose many parts. Uh, I had a third point. Oh, the third point, other than the engineer, when we crashed, the guys just kind of chilled in there, so they're easier to recover. I know I've had many times where I um, would crash and I'd launch the Kerbal miles away and have to rock it back. So it's kind of convenient that they're kind of confined into that little cabin just bouncing around. Very cool. I know I said I wouldn't pick favorites, but uh, just between me and you, uh, I like yours a lot, and it might be at the top of my list. All right. Thank you, Kazuka. Moving on to the next one. Uh, Ilukar for Sid Spooky. Very, very cool name. Uh, by Hugo. Missing some parts, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. This thing looks like a little, like, Formula One car. Nothing in the description. Who did I say this was made by? Hugo. Alright, let's load this bad boy. While I pull up Hugo's email, see if there's any extra information that I need to know. <laughs> oh, I probably should I probably should put an astronaut in And then launch this bad boy Alright, so This was made by Hugo His email Let's See if there's any pertinent information This one he did say So I guess It wasn't just uh, the one gaming Also Hugo said that it was made for Elu in particular. Um, it has very little grip and maneuverability, he says. Um, but it won't flip when steering. You should you drift more than you steer. He tried his best to make it both beautiful and practical. Alright, he doesn't say anything about controls. I probably should check that real quick. A 1930s dragster. It is very dragster style. It has the ion engines, which might be pretty good for Elu. Because they're not going to be super powerful and they won't really run out of uh, fuel. Okay, he has one, one set to the reaction wheels. And that is it. Okay. Perfect. Hopefully I have an astronaut in there. If not, we'll have to redo it again. I do like the style. It's very, very uh, creative. Definitely cooler than anything I would ever build. These are the type of vehicles that I, pretty much most of the ones we've seen today, are the things that I would like to build, but uh, I don't have enough creativity to do so. All right, as far as maneuverability on Kerbin, pretty good to be expected. I wonder how fast this thing goes with the, with the ion engine. We're gonna give this a quick, uh, a quick drag down the the runway since it does look like a dragster. I think it's only it's only fair if we uh, speed this thing down the runway. We are running low on electric charge, so let's let's quickly make it daytime. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so... In three, two, one... Meow. There we go. We're out of here. Andrew says, oh hey Andrew. What? <laughs> Let's 
This thing's pretty quick. The only issue I see is... Well, I mean, he never said it was a dragster. I'm just saying it's a dragster. But I feel like it, it might go fast enough to... Uh, break its own wheels. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I see what you're saying. That's funny, Andrew. So about 28.8 meters a second is how fast it's going on Kerbin. This would be good for a mission across Kerbin, honestly. Just how quick that is and then the xenon gas. Um, well, how fast is it without the xenon gas? Because the xenon gas doesn't run out, but is it really contributing on Kerbin? Not that it matters, because at the end of the day, we're here for Elu. Just for my own curiosity. You know what? It does make it go faster, because we're, we're almost topping out here. Well, I guess not. Almost to 28 meters a second. And then the ion engines... The ion engines do help a little bit. Can it get its electric charge back? Uh, it should be able to. Let's see if we turn around towards the sun. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how quick that is. But, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to time warp to speed things up. Just a momentary break. He could, he could get some coffee. I'm talking about Wilzer here, the cur the Kerbal. Get some coffee, take a little break, take a little nap maybe, and then boom, we're back on the road. Is there rest stops on Elu? If not, we should build some. All right, I'm gonna revert to launch. That way, it's full fuel and everything, and then we'll send it to Elu and give it a try. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so let's pop on over to Elu. Just a quick, just a quick launch to Elu, real fast. Nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> if only traveling to planets was this quick, it'd make my job a lot easier. Ah, there we go. All right. The only issue I see is the use of solar panels on Elu. Is Elu known for, uh... Oh, I guess it's far as heck away. That makes sense. I forget it's the Pluto analog. So it's not gonna get as much sunlight. I see what you're saying, Andrew. Keep that in mind when you're voting. That it might not, uh, it might not last long. Well, the Iron Engines look so cool, though. I like the blue. And this thing's quick. I'm not pressing... I have my hands up, as if you can see my hands. I don't have the webcam on. But I have my hands up, because I'm not pressing any buttons. This is just the ion engine steering this thing. And you know what? It drives really well. Oop, 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 oop. I think one turns the reaction wheels on. There we go. This thing's fast. Okay, let's let's slow it down. The one issue uh, I could see is what's happening right now. If I flip, I think all heck is gonna break loose. Whoa, whoa. recover, recover. We lost an engine, but we're recovering. I think maybe not. Oh, there's a rock. Look at that rock. Nice. Anyway, back to the game. We lost an engine. But I think everything's fine. Yeah, if I didn't drive like a madman, this would go pretty well across Elu. Yo said that thing is about as fast as I was going when I beat your South Pole run. <laughs> You're never gonna live me or let me live that down, are you? <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I'm more so glad that other people are as crazy as me to attempt that, more than I'm mad that you are quicker than me. <laughs> I was working on, maybe I'll show it later. Uh, I had an idea to do another South Pole run with Parallax installed, 
Um, and I'll show you my idea, my craft idea. Whoa, gosh. I was faster than 17 hours. That's pretty crazy. How long did it take me again? I don't even remember. Like 30 some hours. So it took you like 20 or not even. Wow. All right. Yeah, I, I like this design. It's very cool. I could see this working on Elu. It might lose some parts, but it has repair and it has struts. That's good. Parallax causes a bunch of issues. I have noticed that. I have run into quite a bit of issues with Parallax. Well, it has a landing gear here. What does the what does the landing gear do? I didn't see a button for landing gear. I guess this one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> My time for the run was 17 hours. Dang. So Talon drove from the space complex to the South Pole in 17 hours. Super impressive. You should have uh, you should have made a video out of it, man. We could have could have been uh, it made like a video competition or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that was the dragster style thing. What was it called? The the B A. I don't even remember what the name of it was. Let's get back to this place space plane hangar. Oh, 21 hours and 8 minutes. That's, yeah, that's still crazy. As I was going like 30 meters a second. How fast, what was your like average speed if you had to guess? The BA SID. Thank you for rem reminding me. BA SID by Gazooka. Wait, what? No, we were just doing the Elu car. By wait, who else? Who are we driving? Hold on a second, Elu car. <laughs> Elu car for Satsuki by Hugo. That's when we were just doing, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Average speed was sixty meters a second. How did you cross the river? That is that is my final question. Was it as catastrophic as mine? <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. That was the Elu car by Hugo. Next is the Curb Cruiser by Piggy in the middle is a land bridge. Nice. Uh, is Piggy in the middle in the chat? I know he was earlier, but he may have left from the crash. I don't know if I don't want to... Uh, Drive his if he's not if he's not in here at the moment. A land oh that's right there is a land bridge there that I chose not to go on. <laughs> All right I don't see Piggy in chat so I'm gonna wait on his. I, I would like to, him to be able to see his being driven around. Uh, unfortunately, Sango's submission because the um, mods aren't compatible with this. Version, I'm not able to drive his. He had a cool Jeep. I wish I had a screenshot of some of it, but I do not. Uh, Shark Knight is Shark Knight in the chat because his is also on here. <laughs> Did your crossing during the day? Yeah, that's probably smarter, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to, um, use. Oh, that's right, Andrew. Okay, sorry, Andrew. Shark Knight, let's let's get into it. I didn't I didn't want to uh, warp because I wanted my time in the top corner to have a like a rough uh, idea of how long it was taking me because I did it over like a week, week and a half of driving like two three hours a day. Some days six hours when I was feeling crazy. All right, Andrew, a.k.a. Shark Knight. What do you prefer? Do you prefer Andrew or do you prefer Shark Knight? Because I'll call you whatever you want. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, Talon. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the email. I I made an extra fancy 
little thing here to read this email because I oh, I thought it was very cool. All right. So the email says, let me pull it up here. I know you can see it on the screen, but I can't read that on my tiny little screen, so I got to pull it up on my phone. Mr. Spooky, we here at Shark Space Industries value innovation, exploration, individuality, safety, and above all, money. <laughs> As our program of cash-powered combustion has left our wallets empty, oh sorry, I, I let me let me say that sentence over because I the inflections were all off. With the value, innovation, exploration, individuality, safety, and above all, money. As our program of cash-powered combustion has left our wallets empty, who the hell thought a rocket engine that burned money was a good idea? We provide top-of-the-line equipment that has been tested and effective at its job. However, that takes money, and we don't have that. But that's where you come in. Normally, we have to spend untold sums of money running these tests, but you've decided to have a basketball tournament between rovers, and the winner goes to space. I don't know what basketball has to do with rovers, but hey, if you're willing to put our equipment through its bases. So originally, we were going to do a, 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 Ma a March Madness style thing, but then I decided to have you guys vote on it. Anyway. Uh, so without further ado, I give you initiative, supposedly... The name is a Cosmo and Krakens reference. I don't get it myself. Apparently, it has something to do with rolling. The, the top set of tires is turned off at first, but can be enabled manually uh, when and if it flips. Uh, oh, yeah, and a safety note. Do not open the four boxes at the back or sit on them. And if you do, write down your symptoms afterward. <laughs> happy or well, happy testing. Regards, Shark Knight. Very cool. The only person to give me a little like backstory to their craft so I I appreciate that thank you for reminding me about the email I almost forgot all right so the wheels are supposed to be off not that it probably matters at the moment get some lights going it's definitely beefy oh the box is at the back hmm can we get a little sneak peek in here Oh, it's the, uh, <laughs> the generators. <laughs> Very cool place to hide them in. Hold on, I'm gonna quickly break the rules. The Predator's getting out. He's checking the boxes. He's checking the boxes. He's touching them. He's touching all the boxes. Alright, let's get back in. <laughs> uh, is there any controls that I should be aware of? Like RCS, SAS, any of those things. Any more and they would explode, I believe it. Alright, so let's let's start moving. Uh, the controls are inverted. So I'm gonna quickly uninvert them. There we go, perfect. SAS should work. Okay, cool. Oh, my phone, for some reason, just brought up OK Google. No, phone, I do not want to talk to Google right now. I'm driving rovers with my friends. <laughs> it drives really well. And it looks like it's built, it's built tough. Built Ford tough. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's hit the brakes. Let's get this bad boy on Elu. I like that it has the, like, radar dishes kind of hidden behind the wheels so they can't get broken off. Very smart. A man who knows that I'm going to crash this thing. It built Kerbal Tough. There we go. Someone should make that into a t-shirt. Like a similar logo that says that. My wife does art. I could have her make it, but... Uh, she'll probably tell me no. I'm pretty sure in the past she has called this game stupid. I don't know if she's watching, but... Pretty sure she did. <laughs> All right, let's get to Elu. And there we go. Oof, I'm gonna really quickly take a drink. My throat is, oh gosh, my throat is dry. There we go, perfect. SAS works like a charm. Got the brakes on, okay. Real quickly, I'm gonna mute my mic, take 
a, a very large drink because my throat is drying up. I need water, Sandy. Okay, much better. Ugh, that was a disgusting. How long have we been doing this for? Like an hour and a half? Um, I have a beer because I'm an adult. And it's very warm now. And that was not good, but you know what? My throat is well lubricated, so we're good. There's no OSHA in Kerbal. That's right, she. Thank God, am I right? Nothing I hate more than OSHA. I'm trying to ruin all the fun. Lube. <laughs> Real guy, best guy. Is that by any chance a reference to Sips from the Augs cast? It might not be. But when I hear real guy, best guy, I think of sips from the Augs cast. Anyway. Perhaps. If it is, very cool. <laughs> Back to the task at hand. Shark Knight's rover. It's pretty maneuverable without... Oh, it doesn't have engines, so without engines, it uh, does pretty well. Let's get this bad boy up to speed. Sips is one of your favorites. I used to be like the biggest fan of the Augs cast, like all of them in general. The real wheels should be turning? I think they are. I think it's just because Elu. Elu's gravity, they don't turn as much. Here, let's hit the brakes real quick. Um, I still frequently, if anyone knows who Sips is, I think this might just be me and real guy, best guy talking to each other, but uh, Sips is from the Augs cast. Uh, I frequently sing his cover of Big Girl. I don't know what the original song is. I don't even care what the original song is because Big Girl has a place in my heart. I sing it to my cats because I got fat cats. She's a big girl. Uh, I, I don't remember the lyrics because her pants don't fit around her waist. You can eat pie, always really hungry. You can eat pie, always really hungry. All right, that's enough singing. What am I doing? We're hitting the brakes to see if that wheel's turning. Yeah, they're turning. They're turning. You can see a little bit of turn on there. A little turn action. All right, let's get this bad boy up to full speed. I'm very curious to see. This is, I think, the first one without engines. See how fast this, fast this guy is. Going downhill, so we got a little bit of an advantage. SAS is working. We're, we're keeping it uh, relatively straight. Well, I say that and I serve near to the right, but it's fine. The music goes really well with this. I'm going to shut up for a minute so we can just imagine we're on like a sick road trip with this music in the background. Here we go. A nice little montage of sorts. No, the music stopped being cool. Never mind. <laughs> Wasted opportunity. Oh, we are going to hit that rock. No, we're good. Um, this thing drives super well. And it was very smart to put double the wheels on. Here, can I try to flip it on purpose? <sighs> Boom! We're upside down, boys. But we're still cruising. The turning wheels aren't on, but that's fine. Genius. Oh, we're flipping again. This one was not on purpose. I don't know if it's going to go as well. Ah! You know what? You know what? We're still going. This is fine. Look at that. We're going to land right side up. Can I flip it that way? I think we might be stuck. <laughs> I think we might be stuck. <laughs> um, 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 wait, wait. There we go. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm I'm crying because I was laughing so hard. Uh, thank you, Shark Knight. Uh, that one. I love it. The fact that I can flip it and still drive around. Perfect. Safety. Uh, as she said earlier, there's no OSHA in 
in Kerbal, but if OSHA did exist in Kerbal, this one would be OSHA approved, I guarantee it. No one could possibly get hurt with this. The moving technique of a, cr a crib? Do you mean a crab? A crab? I was doing a little Zoidberg. A little Zoidberg thing you can't see. I really should turn my webcam on. There's no reason it's off other than it's just not on. Uh, okay. Shark Knight, aka Andrew, thank you so much for the submission. Um, genius, I'll say, with the wheels on top. Um, I touched all those boxes. I will report back to you if uh, Fredster has any symptoms. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the hangar. Man, I'm loving all of these. Uh, thank you everybody that uh, sent these in. They're all incredibly cool and while these are so uh like uh creative i i would have never thought to make things like that that's one great thing about kerbal is that you can make anything like the possibilities are limitless all right the one rover by the one gaming are you in here i know you were earlier but since the game crashed earlier or the my computer crashed the stream crashed he might not be in here. He is here. Sweet. All right. The one rover. What are these parts? Oh, they're flags. Okay. I never thought about that. That's actually smart. I'm going to change the... Uh, I guess I'm not going to change the color. I was going to change the color to see if it... If you could make anything different, but... That's... That's very smart. To use flags as the, uh like uh, casing almost all right let's look at your controls see what we're dealing with here anything in here that I need to know nothing all right the one rover let's we got a crew so these are servos is there any buttons to control these servos that I'm not seeing? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Short and sweet. I like it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, let's get this bad boy on Kerbin. You can just pin the menu. Okay, cool. I'm going to drink more of my disgusting warm, or not really warm, but almost room temperature beer. BRB real fast. All right. So let's quickly, I don't know if we'll need this, but I am going to pin the menu. Let me put it down here. So we have gear to stop us if we need it, I assume. Oh, wow. Feels like a wheelie. So these would work as flippers. Is that the intended feature? Because we could like do that to flip us back over. Perf. That's smarter than my design. Where were you when I designed the curb and craft? Because <laughs> that's super smart. It's not a beer. It's apple juice. You have to say the quotes to please the YouTube gods. Oh, yeah. Who's the CEO? Isn't her name like Susan? Susan, I'm not drinking beer. I, I, turns out, I don't know the English word for beer because I'm not from America. Um, it's apple juice. Quotes. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, um. I think we're stuck. Yeah, root beer, root beer, it's root beer. Let's revert back to the launch, because I'm a little stuck. It's one thing good about living in Michigan... I'll use the engines, I could have done that, you're, you're smart. Forbidden coffee, there's my wife in chat. Everyone say hello to Faye. She is not feeling well today, so everyone give her well wishes if you if you could be so kind. It is, it is actually forbidden coffee, because it's a state of the bean, it's coffee beer. Uh, I mean, a coffee, apple juice. 
All right, so the one rover. How are, how are we with maneuverability? I'm sure it's just fine on Kerbin because these are the wheels I usually go for. Look at this thing. This thing has a, a the turn radius on this thing is immaculate. It has no lights. My only concern. Nighttime driving might be a little difficult, but uh, it's fine. It does look like it kind of looks sad. It looks like a sad dog with those little lights there. Like oh, I'm traveling to space again. Have I done your favorite one yet? The bug, yes. Unfortunately, that was like the second one we did. You'll have to uh, rewatch the stream. <laughs> uh, it did really well, though. Yeah, I did the bug. And I, I told everyone in chat that that was your favorite. Or not that it was your favorite, but that I liked it so much that I sent you a picture of it. I vote for the bug. Okay, so when we do the vote, we need a plus one to the bug, because I don't think you'll probably, you probably won't be watching by then. <laughs> Unless you are, I don't know. Alright, so we need to get to Elu. Let's pop off to Elu. I probably won't be alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the good news is... Uh... That we're almost through all the rovers. So the stream is almost over and I will be with you momentarily. <laughs> All right, the one rover. Incredibly maneuverable. Look at this. Look at this turn radius. <laughs> Just spinning on the dime. All right. Let's uh, let's head off into a random direction, shall we? Hold on, can you use these scanners like just while you're chilling on the ground? I don't think you can. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Let's point at the vroom vroom. Go. You might want to drive with the flippers up. Oh, like, uh... Well, they are. They are. Oh, you mean, like... Oop. What am I doing? Like, th like that? Is that what you mean? I like this one's horns. Batman Rover. <laughs> It is kind of Batman-y. There we go. Okay. Flippers are up. We're in... Uh, I don't even know what to call that. We're in attack mode. <laughs> Alright, let's launch this bad boy. Let me throttle down a bit. It's your bestie, a stink bug. <laughs> that is a fun fact about me. Um, I don't know if anyone has stink bugs where you live, but I love them, and they are my friends. Whenever I see them, I make sure to save them, so no one murders them. Oh gosh! I can roll real fast. Oh, that's the wrong button. Ah. Uh. Okay, we're good. We fixed it. Ah! Oh god! I spoke too soon. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Get back on your wheels! Okay, we're going backward. Uh... Definitely intentional. Uh, we're just- we just wanted to go backward for a bit. It's just the cool thing kids are doing these days, so they drive backwards. You know... Definitely not my poor driving abilities. Can it do a little spider dance? You know what? It kinda can. It looks like a sad man rolling with his arms up. <laughs> It does. Oh no, I'm on Elu. Well, this is like the... The Pluto analog. Maybe he's sad that Pluto isn't considered a planet anymore. <laughs> New Pokemon legend. Yeah, definitely. Oh, um, let's uh... See if we can get him to wave. There he goes, waving. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Looks like he's calling for help. Help me. No, oh, he's flapping his wings to fly away. Oh, that's a frozen hellscape. Yeah, you're not wrong, Gazooka. <laughs> so I was speeding on icy roads earlier. It was fun. Only got scared once. Was the scared once the whole time? <laughs> oh, no. See that one gaming my wife has 
potentially switch your vote to yours. I assume because it can wave. <laughs> uh, oh god! Oh god! Put those gear up. I almost just killed us all. Can we spin around real fast? Uh. Don't crash! Uh. Dancy dance. We little dancy dance. Oh gosh, I hit a bump and it like sent us careening into the sky. There we go. Boom. Ah. Alright. Very fun, very cool. Um, it drove uh, pretty good actually when I wasn't uh, trying to be a madman and speeding. I like the use of the flags or the like uh, frame. I never would have thought of that. It also has storage with repair kits. It does. EVA kit in there. Where is the storage? How do I access it? Right here? Yeah. Look at all that. All those repair kits. Perfect. Driving on the icy, curvy roads. It's just life up here in the mountains. Gotta practice because... Like I was giving it, that's true. Where you're from, um, it gets crazy, and you have mountains. Luckily, here in Michigan, we don't have mountains. We gotta drive on the snow, but uh, usually on flat land. So, Godspeed, she. Uh, I hope that everything goes well with that. Because that sounds terrifying. But I wish you well. Not the most stylish, but very reliable. I would agree. Well, I think it's it looks pretty cool though, especially with its little sad eyes, even though I mean you didn't put that in there, but it's part of the game, but I enjoy it uh, Imaginary bonus points to you for the sad man eyes and also the waving ability Goodbye or waving My life is pain <laughs> All right, oh gosh, I'm crying again because I'm laughing so hard. All right, let's revert back to the hangar uh, thank you for that submission. I like it a lot. It looks like our son whenever you give him attention. Yeah, um, we have a cat. His name is Salem. And he hates me with all of his being. When I touch him, he starts to, like, hyperventilate. He just, like, starts breathing heavy. I don't know why. I've never really been mean to him. Uh, in his eyes I'm mean to him because I love him and I smother him with affection and kisses but he does not like that he's a he's a manly man who doesn't like me kissing him but I love him so I kiss him in my unbiased opinion that was the best <laughs> okay I did say at the, at the beginning of this I don't know if you were here for it um, you technically can vote for your own I would consider it frowned upon, but you can. <laughs> uh, Alright. We have two more to do. We have the Trailblazer by Timothy. And then we also have Curb Cruiser by Piggy, which I haven't done yet because he was in chat earlier and he's not now. Um, I wanted him to be able to see his, but if we get to it before he comes back, he'll have to watch the VOD. All right, Trail Blazer by Timothy. Let's make sure we got. Was Piggy the tank guy? No, uh, she was. She was doing some tank things. Which uh, I was gonna ask what game you were playing. She that you were blowing tanks up earlier. All right, the Trail Blazer. Let's check our action groups just to see if there's anything. Uh, what is this? Oops. Cycle wheel mode? I don't even know what that means. But that is the only action group. Alright, yeah. The only action group. Let's get this thing going. Look at Bradley down in... There's tanks in Rust now? What the heck? When I played Rust, you could build walls. That was the game. What are they doing over there these days? <laughs> Kazuka says it's very nice looking. I agree. It look it kind of reminds me of something that I would build. Boxy. 
Faye says, I'm off to melt into blankets. Nice job, everyone. These were fun to see. Thank you, wife. I hope you feel better. I will be with you soon. Maybe like an hour at most. I love you. I'll see you. I'll see you then. All right. Fun fact, one of the original concepts for mine was a tank. That would have been cool. If you ever do make one, um, don't be afraid to just send it to me in an email to check out. Just cuz. I, I wouldn't mind just ch just looking at it. Then the hermit crab, that would have been cool too. Looks a lot like the Artemis program rover. I'm about to pull up a picture of that to see it. This is cool. It's got little nose cones on the generators to make them look a little better. That's pretty cool. Is that a light bar? It is. It's got light bars. Sick underglow. I don't know if he wants me to do this, but I'm going to do it for aesthetic purposes. Get some nice blue underglow. So I'm just checking this thing out. It's, it's pretty similar to the... Um, rover I drove across Kerbin at Vice. Actually, you know what? It's even more similar to the truck I drove on Minmus. Very cool, though. All right. Oh, it's got a little. It's got a little chair, little chairs, and a little patio. Hold on. I feel like I'm in a James Bond movie. Yeah, that's the music is very James Bondy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go back to. The hangar because there's a little little lawn chairs on the back that I would could not forgive myself if I didn't put some kerbals in that while we were driving across to Elu. Nibu and Master. Oh Master Kerman. What an interesting name. Alright, my wife's gone guys, let's party. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ugh. I need to stop drinking this warm beer and go get something else to drink. I just want to pause though. Toga, toga, toga. <laughs> Ugh. All right. How do they look in their little chairs? <laughs> Ugh. There's always milk. Oh, I hate to say this, but milk is probably my least favorite things in the history of drinks. We are a coconut milk household uh, because we are all lactose intolerant. All right, let's get this thing moving. Unsubscribed. <laughs> you know what? Since I posted that uh, train video, I've lost like 30 subscribers, so... You know what? Oops, uh, you won't be the first one. <laughs> okay, so you won't be like my dad who left without the milk. Turns out, I was your dad. I left to go get the milk, realized I didn't like milk. Never came back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so... This thing drives good, as expected. I was kind of afraid it was going to tip there. Last competition. Oh gosh! Sorry, I just want to show you guys my dance moves. My little break dance moves. Uh, something I'm working on. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's get to Elu. Less competition, indeed. Who knows? Some of these people that submitted crafts uh may not watch my videos anymore because it took so long to get this out and i sincerely apologize for how long it's taken for me to check these rovers out i did not do it un intentionally i unfortunately am one of the m majority of the population that uh is a millennial with poor mental health so sometimes you gotta take some time for yourself and uh that's okay but anyway, back to... I'm not a therapist. Back to the thing at hand. Let's, uh... Let's drive some rovers. We got two more left. <laughs> the heck is mental health? Indeed, she. Indeed. Uh, 
better to have a mentally stable streamer than not. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Very true, very true. All right. Let's see how this... Whoa, this thing's cruising already. Mental health. You mean there are people who have sanity? Seems weird. No, I agree. I agree. Uh, sometimes life is just too much. I, uh... Even though I look like I'm like 15, I probably sound like I'm like 15. I'm almost 30. Uh, I got a lot going on, and sometimes it's too much. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's not bring the mood down. Let's, we're having fun, guys. We're having fun. Let's drive around, crash some things. This music sounds like we're on a little island. It doesn't go well with the snowy landscape. We should be, like, sipping mimosas on, like, a lawn chair on the beach with this music. This thing has multiple stages, I just realized. Yeah, yeah, uh, Shark Knight just said, this one, has mul this one has stages. I'm curious to see. It's not snow, it's mint. Hold on. Stop this thing. I'm stopping for a snack. It's just like the meatballs that I found on, uh, where was it, Minmus? Here, let's get out here. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, they both came out. Fill your pockets. Fill your pockets with the mint ice cream. Duna. Okay, it was Duna where I found the meatballs. Was it Duna? I could have sworn it was Minmus. You're probably right, though. All right. Oh, no, I can't. Wait, well, what? Cannot board seat while not standing still. There we go. It was the motorcycle all over again. I would like... Oh, gosh. I would like back in my chair, please. There we go. All right. Our pockets are filled with ice cream. Let's see what these stages are about. Does this whole thing separate? I think it does. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Let's get some speed going. I wonder if that's the abort button. <laughs> Alright, so we're cruising, right? And then suddenly, dun dun dun, I don't- I can't change the music while I'm driving. Save state- Eh, I can just- I can just reload. Whoa, this thing is- hold on. This thing's gonna go into orbit. That's how fast this thing is. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Dude, we're, uh, we're driving in style. This thing is literally the motorcycle all over again. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a flip. Boom. All right. Um, can I slow ourselves down? I would like to come back to ground, please, if possible. Oh no, I think we're, we're coming in hot, that's for sure. Oh gosh, my eyes are watering from laughing so hard. I super appreciate all of these rovers and your guys' comments. Ugh. You guys have definitely made my night this. This is fun. Alright, we're slowing down, hopefully to a safe... A safe uh, speed here. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Herbal has changed the buttons for turning your engines on and off because I don't remember them being A and Z or Z and X. Last time I was visited you, it was never. Ooh, we're coming in hot. Coming in hot. Okay. Um. Everybody, hold on. What is that? <laughs> the engine just is free spinning. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually been to Elu in the game, like, by going there properly. Alright, let's quickly revert back to launch. <laughs> Hold on, everything is fine. I feel like that's like my catchphrase whenever, like, stuff's going down. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think it's just me trying to tell myself, like, convince myself that everything's okay, even though I know it's not. As we're just flying around crashing. This is why I said save state. You're right, you're right. 
I'm, I'm not gonna say you're not right, because you are definitely right. Nobody goes to Elu legit. I don't know why I've never been to Elu, because... Now, I was gonna say Pluto is my favorite planet, but I'd be lying. And technically, it's not a planet anymore, but in my eyes, I'm a 90s kid, so it was a planet when I was a kid. Um, it's my second favorite. I, I gotta say Saturn. Saturn's probably my favorite planet because of the rings. Captain Reed. Or except Captain Reed, he's crazy. I've seen, I haven't watched many of his videos, but he does do some crazy things. Only crazy people go to Elo, that's more accurate. <laughs> Alright, I wanna try this launch thing that's got going on. So let's get some speed going. Once again, I didn't save. Let me help me, Andrew. I didn't save. <laughs> I'll get the brakes on. Let's turn the brakes off. Alright. So suddenly... Oh no. There's an emergency back in Kerbin. We left the oven on. Quickly. Back home. <laughs> Gosh, this is freaking cool. <laughs> I wonder if this can get us into orbit. Dare I try? This is wild. What kind of engines are these? The spiders? Not enough thrust? Yeah, 600 meters a second. Yeah, definitely not. Imagine if you had, like, a space plane orbiting, and you like, I mean, it wouldn't be possible, but, like, it opens up its, like, cargo bay, and this thing just, like, lands into it, and then we just take off in our space plane. How cool would that be? We're out of here, guys. Let's turn the lights on. Wow. This is wild. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's head back to the space plane hangar. What happened to the two on the patio? Um, they're just gonna continue sitting on their lawn chairs and enjoying life. Uh, they, they're gonna watch the rest of the rover uh, and make sure it's fine. Uh, we'll come back for them, I promise. Just like I came back for all my Kerbals that have driven across planets. <laughs> Alright, that was the Trailblazer by... Do, 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 do. It was by Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. I don't think you're in chat, but thank you if you see this. My vote was for Space Breaking Bad. <laughs> Alright, last but not least, we have a Piggy in the Middle submission. The Curb Cruiser MK1. It almost looks like a boat. A boat with wheels. Oh, it's got, this is the one with the underglow built in. I like it. It's got the green and red lights. Which, uh... They do that on boats. So you know which... Do they do that with planes also? Where they have the red and green lights so you can tell which way it's going? I know they do that on boats. I don't know if they do that on planes. But that's that's a cool little touch. It is solar powered, which we've learned is not good for Elu, but we might not need it. Does this have rockets? It doesn't have rockets. No action groups that I need to know that I can see. All right. This one, I would imagine, would do just fine on Elu without the rockets makes it a little harder for me to crash without rockets <laughs> wait for this to load I'm gonna take a quick drink real quick Probably don't need to announce every time I take a drink, but I'm just gonna be quiet for more than like 10 seconds, so I don't want you guys to think like something happened. Or I muted my mic on accident, that happened last stream. Or I muted my mic for like 20 minutes. 
<laughs> this thing is crazy maneuverable. Not as uh, maneuverable as the one we were doing earlier that could like spin in place, but still pretty maneuverable. Biffa announces every time he drinks tea. That is true. Biffa does do that. It's time for tea. That's kind of like his thing. Tea thing. I really like Biffa's videos. I haven't watched Biffa in a while. I, I do this thing where I... The game I'm playing are the videos I watch. So like, when I'm playing Kerbal, because I binge play games, like I'll play a game for like three months non-stop, I won't play any other games but that one game, and I will also only watch YouTube videos of that game. So lately I've been playing like retro games like XCOM, and what else have I been playing? I can't think right now. What games have I been playing? Anyway, I've been playing like XCOM, so I've been watching uh, DDR Jake play not XCOM, but Xenonauts, which is basically the same thing, because I don't have Xenonauts. But, that's what I do. I just, I think it's part of having ADHD where I get very obsessed with one thing. So like, my whole life is consumed by that thing. Whoa, whoa, that sick drift. We're back with uh, Initial D. Deja vu, da 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 I really should learn lyrics to that. I like this thing. Very cool. All right, let's get it to Elu and see how it does. Quick sip of tea. <laughs> Never mind's uh, a quick sip of root beer. A quick sip of apple juice. All right. I can't imagine this will have any problems. It has our go-to wheels. I wish there was... Whoa! I say it can't have any problems, and I almost tip it over. I wish there was more rover wheels, is what I was going to say, before I almost killed the people on board. So I feel like I always go for these ones, because, I don't know, they just... They're the only ones that hold up to a good amount of, um... Like, crashing, and they have a good speed to... They have a good speed to crash ratio. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's great. Going in a straight line on the mission. Oh, gosh. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Back on the wheels. Okay. Yeah. That was intentional. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're good. We're good. Nice save. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think Running in the 90s is the best drift song or any funk music. I have not heard of that, but I will definitely check that out after this. Um, I don't know if any of you are into car videos, but uh, I watch um, Mighty Car Mods, and the people, the one of the guys on Mighty Car Mods' name is Moog, and he makes really fantastic electronic music that is perfect for like night driving. If you ever are doing some night driving, check out Moog. Highly recommend. I almost think I... He didn't give me a button for an SAS turn off. Or did he? Is a board do that? Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Can we flip back over? We can. Look, we didn't lose anything important, just some solar panels. They're like made to fall off at this point. <laughs> Alright. It is but a scratch. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's put this thing into full speed and let's just send it to its death. Yeah, the only problem I have with this is the hold on, I'm press if I press the other button on my keyboard I have. There we go. That way I'm not using the SAS. I have one key mapped to go forward without SAS that I forget that I have. Listen to Funk while driving makes 20 feel like nothing. It makes 20 over feel like nothing. Hmm, I don't think I know what Funk is. And I'm actually, while I'm driving this rover, I'm going to write that down. Because I'm always in need of new music to listen to. 
And that is why the initiative has the power output of a small country. <laughs> All right. I don't think we're going to send this into his death. Suddenly it's very maneuverable when I'm not using the SAS. Very good. All right, let's just let's just kill it. Oh no, I accidentally pressed the left button. <laughs> oh no, the crew. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what's in here? That's some little hidden secrets. All right, let's revert. I believe that was everybody's rover. 99 attack by Death Eater. I think you recommended that last stream. Let me add that to my list. 99 attack. What was the last one you said? Uh, da, 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 da. Running in the 90s. Let me write that down. The stream has turned into just she recommending me music. <laughs> All right, so I need to figure out how to do a poll that I've never done before. Dun, dun, dun. Bear with me while I click around and try to find how to do a poll. <laughs> I think I gotta do it through YouTube. So let's hop into YouTube real fast. Space Breaking Bad has your vote. Well, I'll go through all the rovers again in a moment. Let's just let me get this poll going, and then I'll, I'll go through them all so you can see them all again, so you know which one you want to vote for, in theory. Dun, dun, dun. I did not test how to do... Usually, I like I do a little uh, uh, unlisted stream and test out how things work before I do it, but the polls are not something that I planned to test. <laughs> Me who showed up and only saw two. <laughs> you can still vote, and then if, uh... You, you can do it based on looks. It doesn't matter. Just whatever your favorite is. It doesn't matter, uh... If it's your favorite one that drove cool, had some cool features, or just looks. Whatever, whatever you want to vote for. Feel free. As soon as I can figure out how to do a poll. <laughs> Alright, here we're in the stream. There we go, start a poll. Aha! Now I gotta type all these guys' names in. Bear with me. Alright, for the hundredth time this stream, pull up my email. We should go to poll while doing the poll. We can do that. Well, I'll have to go through and look at all the crafts. So unfortunately, we won't be able to do that. All right. So we had a uh, shark knight. I don't think you can drive on pole. Any velocity and you're in orbit. <laughs> very true. Very, very true. All right, then we had Hugo. I really don't know how to be entertaining while I'm just typing in names on a pole. We had Gazookas. Uh, but thank you guys for coming and checking this out. It was a heck of a lot of fun. And it's definitely something that we'll have to do again. Oh no, you can only do four options in the poll. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I can only do four names in the poll. So we're going to do it in segments. So round one is between 
Shark Knight, Hugo, Gazooka, and the Centered Orc. So let me hop into Kerbal. We'll quickly show you theirs. So Shark Knights was... Uh, da, 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 if I can find it... There we go. Shark Knights was the initiative. The one that... Uh, no matter which way you flip, just keeps on going. Get a quick look. This was Shark Knights. Very cool. Alright. Then we'll move on to... Hugo's. So this one was Hugo's. It was like a, a dragster style. It was very quick. Um, only problem, if it flipped over, you're losing everything. But... Um, it was fast and fun. Alright, so there's Hugo's, and then we had... Gazooka's... Da, 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 which was the BA Sid, also very strong. Basically, when you crashed it, not much happened. Uh, also had rockets, which was good. It was very strong, very cool, if I would say so. Has repair kits, which we all know that I need. And then, centered orc with the broom broom. He also had safety features by putting his Kerbals on the sides, so every time I crashed, no matter how much I crashed, there was no fatalities, which I think is nice. At the end of the day, we want to keep as many Kerbals alive as possible. So there's the four for round one. This does not mean you win the competition, this means you win round one. There'll probably be like four rounds, because there's 12 of you. But I'm going to submit the poll now. Here we go. There should be a poll somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but it should be somewhere. <laughs> Everybody vote for your winner. Or your, the one you want to win. Can you even see it? Can anyone see the, the poll? Okay, you see no poll. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm a professional streamer, guys. I don't know if you are aware of that, but I'm a professional streamer. Not really, this is like my fifth stream ever. <laughs> Hold on, bear with me while I figure this out. For some reason, it took me to a different... For some reason, it took me to a... Oh, I, I'm sorry, you're gonna hear me talking twice because I clicked on my stream. All right, start a poll. We had... Shark Knights, we had... Centered Orc. Probably help if I spell your name right. Uh, then we had Hugo. And then we had who else? Who was the fourth one? Hugo, Shark Knight, Gazooka. Oh, Gazooka. I didn't write Gazooka. Gazooka. You're right, you're right. Uh, it's going to be four rounds. Basically, well, can't stick around and watch one. I'm glad to see you doing a stream, doing more stuff. I love your content. Definitely one of the best new KSP channels. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You have a fantastic night. Uh, real quick before you leave, uh, who was your favorite? I'll, I'll add a point to whoever your favorite is. Oh, there's the, there's the poll. Basically, we're going to do this poll take the winner from this poll do the other polls with the other rovers and then all the ones that win on that poll we're gonna put in a poll 
and then that will be the winner, basically, is, is the plan. Oh, Shark Knight's coming in. Coming in from the, uh, for the win at the moment. Everybody get your, get your votes in. Shark Knight, Center to Work, Hugo, or Gazooka. Uh, in my opinion, they were all fantastic, and I enjoyed every single one of them. Okay. <laughs> it's all good, Tangent Fox. I appreciate you stopping, stopping in to say hi. Alright, we're gonna give the poll... Like, 30 more seconds. Everyone, throw your, throw your votes in. If you, if there's anyone left to vote. We got, we got seven votes. There's ten people in here. Everybody, everybody vote. When my clock says 11.15, I'm gonna end the poll. It says 11.14 at the moment. Come on, everybody. Put your votes in. It says there's ten people. I only got seven votes. Who's not voting? <laughs> Unless it's counting me, because I'm watching. <laughs> uh. It won't let me vote. Just so you guys know, I can't cheat. Oh no, there's gonna be a tie. <laughs> that's that's fine. We can we can put them both in the poll if we have to. I'm very surprised that nobody voted for Gazookas. I really liked Gazookas. All right. Oh, it still says 11.14. I'm gonna load up Gazookas real quick. Gazooka, I really liked. I'm surprised Gazookas didn't get any points. I liked how it looks, it looks mean. It looks like it can get some, some stuff done. All right, it is 11.15. We're ending the poll. It was Shark Knight and Centered Orc tied. All right, Kazuka. I'm sorry. I really liked yours. I'm sorry you didn't. Uh, uh, oh, I meant to vote for Kazuka. Who did you vote for? Not even my second pity vote. <laughs> you did vote for Orc, but you wanted to vote for Kazuka. Well, that means that Shark Knight would have been the the winner of that round. All right, on to round two. Let me type in some more names. Had fun making it and using it. I had fun driving it around, so I super appreciate you sending that in. Um, there was only 12 people that sent crafts in. I was actually pretty surprised. And yours was one of my favorites. I'm not even saying that to be nice. I legitimately liked it a lot. All right, so next round. There, there might be a next time for crafts. I'll use it for the KSP cinematic. Well, hopefully, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it again. Uh, anyone in the chat? If you want to check out a cool cinematic, I haven't seen it yet, but I will after the stream. I will go watch it. Check out Gazooka's channel uh, for sure to see that rover in a cool cinematic. Hopefully that'll get you some people checking out your stuff. That way you still win. <laughs> All right, so on to round two. We have... Awesome bird. We have piggy in the middle. We have the one gaming. Uh, then we have. Da -da. Timothy's. Did I spell that right? I spelled that wrong. If there's any typos in your names, I do not mean to do it on purpose. I just suck at typing. All right, so round two. 
We have Awesome Bird, Pig in the Middle, The One Gaming, and Timothy. I will quickly go through those so you can see them. Um, backwards Rover with the screen, I believe, was Awesome Birds. Let me confirm that in my email real fast. Don't. I mean, you can vote now, but don't vote yet if until I uh, tell you who who's is who's. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Yeah, okay. So this one was Awesome Birds. The backwards Rover with a screen. Very cool. And then we had uh, Piggy in the Middles, which was this one, which is the one we just did last, which had the cool uh, lights on the sides like they have on boats and planes and all that. And then. Here, get a good get a good look in. Then we had the one gaming with the one rover, which was this one right here, which has the the sad little eyes, but it has the ability to wave. <laughs> the one gaming said another plus of mine is that I also included a rocket for getting the rove to Elo. He did in the email. He did include a rocket to uh, to launch it there. Which is actually pretty cool that you went through that effort. I appreciate that. Alright, so that was the one gaming. Last but not least, we have Timothy's, which was... Da, 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 the Trailblazer. That was the one with the cute little uh, patio on the back. <laughs> so everyone, throw your votes into round two. Who you think should win this round? We got four votes, and they are strongly going to Timothy at the moment. Oh, one gaming. 33%. Got six votes. How many people we got watching? We got nine people watching. Can we get any more? Oops, seven votes. Can we get any more votes? My clock says 1120. When it says 1121, I'm going to end the poll. So far, it's strongly toward Timothy. Ooh, I don't even—I don't know his screen name. I don't know if he's in chat, but uh, I have his—I have his Steam name, so I can send him his prize. We got seven votes in. It says we got ten people watching. Any more votes to throw in? Anybody got any more votes? Alright, my clock says 1121. I'm gonna wait like ten more seconds for any last minute votes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> End the poll with Timothy winning that round. Thank you to Piggy in the Middle, The One Gaming, and Awesome Bird for their crafts. Again, not just saying this to be nice, they were all super cool and I appreciated all of them. So Timothy is moving on to the final round. Alright, so we should have a round three coming up. Shit. Oh, sorry, I swore. My, my bad, guys. I try not to swear. Not that it's that big of a deal, but just because I know some... Younger, I have some younger audience. Anyway, it's back to the poll. Next up, we have... Basms, which was the VW Bug, which I liked a lot. Basm. I think there's only going to be two people in this round. Because that is all we have. Right? We need a pull of four, eight, nine, ten. That doesn't seem right. Let's see. We did... We did Shark Knights. We did... Hugo's. We did Gazooka. Centered Orc. 
We did awesome bird. Pig in the middle of the one gaming. Timothy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just it's just uh two people in this in this uh boat. Um sorry, I've been ignoring chat a little bit. The rock car is a good video. Sell that. Movie props are worth a lot. Interesting. Another plus of mine. Oh, I did read that. Okay, cool. So Basm and Charlie are in the next round. I will show you their rockets real quickly. The poll is up. Uh, so this one was Basm's. It was the little VW bug, which um, I adored and my wife adored. Um, if you remember, the doors could pop out, which was very cool. It had a little docking port that came out to refuel. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. And then we also have... Uh, Charlie's, which was... Da, 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 uh, this guy, the anti-gravity anti car. Which, if you remember, has the cool... Uh, Flippers that uh, I had in my drive across Kerbin, um, but a downfall to it is it went two meters a second for some reason. <laughs> so that that is uh, Charlie's. <laughs> we got we got four votes, four votes in. Everybody get your get your votes in. Um, I'm quickly gonna run to the restroom real fast, and then I'll be right back. When I get back is when I'm gonna stop the poll. Uh, nobody do anything crazy while I'm gone. Please don't hack my computer like you did last time. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll be right back. All right, I'm, I'm back. Let me get caught up with chat. Where are the other two? Yeah, there was only 10 rovers. There was two that I could not use. One of them had mods that unfortunately uh, were not compatible with the version that I have. And I do not know how to revert it to use those mods. And that could have made other cars incompatible also. So unfortunately it had to sit out and the other one um, had a broken link so unfortunately couldn't use his either but I said I was gonna end the poll when I got back uh, so Basm is the winner of that round good job Basm all right we're on our final three your game crash were you what were you playing Gazooka oh you were you playing Skyrim was that you that said that earlier all right, final poll. Okay, SP, nice, nice. All right. Storage issues, that's no fun. All right, so we have Dark Knights. Timothy. 
Unfortunately, I feel your pain. Mine also crashes very often. And my computer. Uh, two, two days in a row, or not two days in a row, but two streams in a row, my computer has crashed. <laughs> I've had to turn it back on. All right, for the final poll, for the winner of a $50 Steam gift card, uh, is between Shark Knight, Timothy, and Basm. Really quickly, I'm gonna go through theirs again, just so you can familiarize yourself with their uh, submission. So here was Shark Knight's The Initiative. Very, very cool. He also creatively gave a, um, a like an email. I'll switch over to it real fast. Description of his car that was very funny and I very cool. <laughs> All right, back to KSP. So that is Dark Knights, and then moving on to Timothy. was the Trailblazer. The one with the little patio on the back. Take a good look. Very cool. Alright, and then last but not least, Basm with the Fresquita 2 Nitro, which was my wife's favorite out of the bunch, the little VW Beetle. Those are the three. This decides the winner of the contest they get a sick uh virtual 50 dollars team gift card because obviously they're not gonna get a real i mean they're you're getting 50 dollars but you're not gonna get a physical card i'm gonna send it to you through steam <laughs> all right everybody got their votes in we're at six votes some people are holding out on us Everybody get your votes in. Shark Knight, Timothy, or Basm. All fantastic. Every rover. All ten of the ones that I, I drove today were absolutely fantastic. Um, if we end up with a tie, I'm just going to do a, a coin flip. Or I'll, I'll call my wife. <laughs> Shark Knight, Timothy, or Basm. I'm going to give this... Until my clock says 11.32, it is 11.30 at the moment. Actually, we have eight votes, we have eight viewers, so I'm going to give it one more minute just in case. Basm, Timothy, or Shark Knight. Looks like Basm. Basm's in the lead for the winner. Is that the one I'm currently on? I'm horrible with names. I say it and I instantly forget which one I'm looking at. It is this one. It is the VW Beetle. All right, it's 11.31. I'm tabbing out. I'm going to click end poll. Everybody get their votes in now. Here we go. Boom. Ending the poll. Basm is officially the winner of the giveaway for the Ground Rover Challenge. Thank you, all of you, for submitting the rovers and just coming in and hanging out. If you didn't submit a rover... Uh, and just watching my stuff, I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate that I have people that enjoy listening to me ramble <laughs> and drive things. You did take third. Fantastic job. Um, I truly liked all of them. I thought they were all very creative. Um, and I look forward to doing this again in the future. So there will be more chances. We'll do some more crazy things. Uh, it's definitely not the end. There will be more gift cards to hand out at some point. Oh, not for a minute, because it did hurt my wallet a little bit, but eventually. <laughs> um, but oh, here I can clap for you, Kazuka. I don't want to clap too loud. I don't want to hurt your ears. Um, but as I said, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna be heading off. Um, I got a sick wife that's in upstairs that needs my attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for participating. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, until next time, I'm trying to stream every Friday. It might not always be, or it's not always going to be KSP, but if you guys enjoy me, enjoy my shenanigans, check it out. Every Friday, well, it might not be Fridays anymore, because I forgot I'm, I'm starting D&D &D with my friends. So, I'll announce it on the community tab. But thank you guys so much. I, I've said that 800 times. 
but truly from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!